Hi everybody, Christy here. And today I told you that I would, or yesterday, told you that I would tell you, talk, start talking about manifesting and we're talking about where it is in your chart and how to get connected to it, right? And how we have our own unique, unique formula or structure that we naturally manifest in. And everyone is a little different. So we talked about your energy type, your generator, manifesting generator, projector, um, generator reflector so what kind of energy and how your energy pulls stuff in and then we also talked about your will center whether it was opened or not which is defined or undefined and what had that bearing it has on your ability to manifest and so now we're talking about the arrows now i'm sure all of you have been just totally curious about what the four arrows at the top of your charts on either side of your head of your chart mean and the ones on what the one we're going to look at okay so so looking going from top left not that you need to know all of this but top left which is the design side of your chart okay that is direction the second one down that is environment um, which is whether you're observing or being observed people are looking at you for direction or if you're taking on or deciding your own direction based on the group you're in, the community you're in, and you like to move around. Then there is a third one, which is the top right, which is awareness. And awareness is really how you see things. Are you really patterned and logical? You see the structure, you see the, um, or you see the strategy, you see how things go together versus um, being more in the flow and flowing from one thing to the next, highly creative, highly imaginative. And then going into the fourth era, which is the one we want to talk to uh, talk about today, and that is perspective, and that is all about how you manifest. So if your arrow is pointing to your head, and this is the bottom, the second one down, bottom on your right of your chart, you're looking at your chart. The right side is the second one down. If it's pointing towards your head, that means you're a specific manifester. Okay, arrow pointing to your head means specific manifester okay and that manifester does really well with details they want they need to put down um, what they want to see specifically I want a thousand dollars within the next 10 days um, from income very specific not necessarily how you want it to come because you need to leave something up to the universe right but that you want to generate this much money in this amount of time you know and allow it to come in that way so we are talking about material plane here we're not talking about love or anything like that because that is also going to be influenced by some other things not just your will center which is material value um, it is your ability to control and manage resources which is your will center that little triangle we talked about yesterday that was defined or undefined colored red or not and then so today if your arrow is pointing to your head that is a specific manifester, which means you need to get specific, okay? And if your arrow is pointing the other way, which is away from your head, and the second arrow down, away from your head, that is a non-specific manifester, which means that it's more about the experience. How do you wanna feel in your experience of this particular manifestation? How do you wanna feel? Like when this happens, how will you feel? And that's what you wanna make note of in present tense. Not, I will, because then everything will always be in the future. Versus, I did, which means it's already happened. So it's more about, in the now, how would you feel? And connecting with that emotion and that feeling. Because that is what's going to help you bring it into the world. If you feel disconnected from it, like you don't deserve it, you're not enough. You don't value yourself enough. You don't trust yourself. You don't really feel like this ask is actually gonna come to fruition, like it's even possible, then it won't come. Because you're basically telling universe, no, never mind, I'm kidding. Okay, because universe will always tell you yes. Spirit always tells you yes. So if you're like, ooh, I wanna generate $1,000. Universe is like, done. And then you sit there and you start questioning yourself. You go, oh, but I don't know, if, I, don't, I don't even know if that's really possible. Universe goes, done. So pay attention to what you're asking for. 
I do really well writing it down and it's not being super duper specific. I mean, if you're a specific manifester, you like doing vision boards, knock yourself out. If you like keeping lists and journals and all that other stuff, great. If you're non-specific and you need to feel it and experience it, how does that work best for you? So there's no how to except your own way and I want you to experiment with this. So answer below, are you specific or non-specific? And what has worked for you in the past and what do you feel pulled to do now? Curious. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.